Hey YouTube, King Goose 13 coming at you. I got two weeks worth of books. I got to pick up Friday. Um, been dying without my polls, um, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, got a few books. Um, so let's see what we got. We're gonna show them off a little bit. Uh, first one. I don't know how many people are actually reading this book. Um, but I'm really loving it. Um, it's JSA Liberty Files Whistling Skull. Uh, this is issue two. Uh, it's just really different. Uh, it's set in that World War II type of type of Europe world. Um, the Whistling Skull is just a really cool character. Um, so if you're not checking that out, I'd recommend it. Pick up the first issue. It just came out a month ago. Um, so it's not like it's been out a long time. Um, <clears throat> then uh, Teen Titans 16 Death of the Family um, and then along with that Red Hood and the Outlaws also Death of the Family number 16 I've been hearing a lot of people talking about how they want Death of the Family to be over I partially agree I want to know what happens at the end but uh, it's been really good um, and I love the Joker in this uh, so I'm going to be sad to see it go, um, but that reveal was going to be cool, I can tell already. Then I got Punisher Warzone, number four of five. This has been a really great series, too. Um, little Greg Rucka action. Um, gotta love it. Good stuff. And this next book. I was a little worried when they said they were doing uh, an issue of Hawkeye for the Hurricane Sandy. I thought it was going to be just kind of a throwaway issue. It's a really good issue. Uh, I love the stuff with Kate in Jersey. Um, and just seeing both of them, how they handle the situation differently. Um, Clint and Kate uh, working together, working separately. It's really cool. A couple of Hawkeyes. The covers are so cool for that series. Uh, another Death of the Family, Nightwing. I love this cover. Um, I love what they're doing with the covers with the Joker faces and uh, having the characters have the Joker face. Uh, that's a good issue, too. Uh, then, Chew. I don't see many people reading this. Um, I don't know why. It's, it's one of my favorite books. When this one comes out, i got to make sure I read it right away. And I did with this one. It's really good. Um, if you're not picking up Chew, then it's not. It's, it's so funny. Uh, Tony Tony Chew's back in the F, FBI or FBI FDA. Um, he's pissed. Um, so it's kind of a new level of Tony Chew. Deadpool. Go um, fighting the dead presidents. Whooping Abe Lincoln's ass in a cage. Um, can't go wrong. I, I, lo I love some Deadpool. Um, I know he gets a bad rap from people too. But uh, I like some funny stuff every now and then. Uh, here's another one I don't know how many people are reading. The Black Beetle by Francesco Francavilla. Uh, dude's an amazing artist. Wasn't sure how he was gonna do writing because he's doing both on this. It's really good. Uh, there's a zero issue and then this is issue one. Um, really good stuff from Dark Horse. Um, his art is just gorgeous, but the story's really good too. Uh, it's kind of a prohibition era noir superhero type of deal. Uh, really good stuff. Another one of my favorites. Bedlam. Um, it's it's kind of the story of uh, a reformed serial killer, uh, supervillain type of deal. Um, but we're not sure if he's reformed. There's some seems like schizophrenia or something going on. Um, God, it's good. It's really good. Uh, some of these books I haven't read yet. But uh, Young Avengers number one, I picked up. Um, heard really good things about it, so I'm looking forward to reading that. 
Um, some of you might know, pretty much if it says Batman on it, I usually buy it. Um, a little while ago, I dropped Batman Inc. a couple months ago. But then I started hearing that this issue was really good. Uh, so I went back and picked up number six and number seven. And I think that catches me up. Uh, I can't get away from Batman. I live in the shadow of the bat, apparently. Uh, just good stuff. Um, here's another one I missed. I don't know how I missed it, but that's on my pull list now. Uh, Alpha Girl, number five. It's a weird, funny story uh, with zombies and uh, just crazy people. Uh, it's worth picking up. It makes me laugh almost every time. So, uh, Uncanny X Force, number one. Mohawk Storm, right there. Um, haven't read it yet. Heard good things. Can't wait to check it out. Winter Soldier. This is the last issue with Ed Brubaker. That makes me sad. Um, his run on this has been really, really good. Uh, all the stuff with Black Widow. This ties up that storyline. Uh, looking forward to reading this. Don't know how much longer I'll stay on the book because he's leaving. Um, but I'll give it a shot the next issue and see see what it uh, what it's like. Um, hopefully Bucky doesn't take a turn for the worse and not be as good. Uh, Revival. That's a cool cover. Um, they've had really great covers on this. Um, what a great what a great book. Uh, just really liking it. Uh, Mike Norton is really kicking butt lately. Um, so check out Revival. All Star Western number 16. Uh, one of the better New 52 books as far as I'm concerned. I've been with this since the beginning. Been hearing a lot of people saying they need to get Jonah Hex out of Gotham. That's part of what I really like about it. I'm seeing old timey Gotham and. Um, <clears throat> what's going on there so get on that one uh, it's a three ninety nine book they always have good backups um, right now I think it's Tom Ogg uh, check it out another Batman book Batman the Dark Knight this has been one of my favorites because it's it's really different than the uh, than the main line um, it's almost like it's you know like almost like a Elseworlds because uh, it's so different than the main series uh, this one's got Mad Hatter in it. Looking forward to that. Uh, I like those obscure rogues. Uh, pretty cool. Looking forward to reading that. Ozymandias. Four Watchmen. It's number five. Five of six. Seems like this before Watchmen stuff's been going on a long time. This book I really love because of the art. Jay Lee is... It's, it's amazing. Um, I don't know how he does it. It's like this crazy painting. Um, some of his uh, some of his panels are just nuts, uh, like crazy circle-shaped panels and that kind of stuff. I really love it. Um, that's probably my favorite of the uh, Before Watchmen. Deadpool Illustrated. This was awesome. Um, really, really love this. Uh, can't wait for more. Um, it's Cullen Bunn, who did uh, Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. That was great. This is even better, I think. Um, just putting Deadpool in weird, weird spots. Um, just awesome. Green Lantern, number 16. Simon Baz. He's been awesome. Um, just a badass lantern. Something we needed. New blood in the, in the lantern core.